I done seen a lot of things, walk through hella rain, I know struggles. I'm just trying to get to the top, niggas talk a lot, they don't know nothing. I've been working every day, trying to get paid, I know hustle. Never switch on my brothers, I get a bag on my brothers. I've been working every day, trying to get paid, I know hustle. I done seen a lot of things, walk through hella rain, I know struggles. I'm just trying to get to the top, niggas talk a lot, they don't know nothing. So I stay with my brothers, I never switch on my brothers, never change on my brothers. So I stay with my brothers, oh, so I stay with my brothers. I'm just trying to get a bag of my brothers. Nigga think he got it like that when I act like that, all right. Mm-hmm. I'm about to have the back track, back track. I gon' fuck you right. Yeah. You right. You right. You right. You right. Run it. Run it. Um, my main focus of me as a commissioner, uh, I wanted to, uh, change the culture. But what I tell people is, I said, before you sign up, before you say anything, come check us out first. Uh, I've been discussing, I've been talking with Mike and Spears for a long time, uh, for the last couple years now, trying to build this relationship back up. We had a homecoming there this year. Um, a lot of the players that have been, uh, played out here last few years have been playing for Watkins Mill, you know, changing the culture over there. I it was great to see all the alumni from Montgomery Village, uh, players from all over, all the county. Um, and then you got the players at Walker Field, you know, sitting there cheering on the kids, you know, watching, you know, uh, reminiscing of when they played in Montgomery Village. You know, it's a great thing. There's nine of y'all. Listen. And just walk this way into the trash. In the trash bag. I'll start. Oh, nice run. And then. You can go in that stand and do the same thing. Okay? Oh. Hey, hey, this is your school, right? Nice now. Run, yeah, take care. I coach Demetrius Rush. Um, I had a chance to coach uh, Anthony uh, certain times, you know, championship games and stuff like that. Um, great boys, man. Great boys. Hard working, uh, dedicated, love the sport. Regardless, they don't follow. They, they make, you know, they set their own trend. They set their own standard. They raise their own bar. And they're representing how Montgomery Village is. You know, coming from Montgomery Village to Watkins Mill, they're probably most of the ones that recently stayed and went to their home school and represented and said, I'm not going to be a follower. I'm going to represent my home and my community and, and do what we got to do to change the culture of Watkins Mill. If I asked you out on a date and I told you to meet me at the theater, the movie started at 8 o'clock, I show up at the movie at 8.30. How does that change our relationship? On the first date. I ain't going to date you no more. I'm not a miss. Absolutely. It, it is important because what? Respect is on one side, it's important for the other side. Because everyone has got business schedules, yeah. um, can't be putting people on hold because if that's going to happen now, what's going to happen in the future? So the way you produce yourself in the beginning is really right. important how you are. And that's why to me the first date or first few dates is very important because you're establishing your standards. You're establishing how you want to be treated. And when you allow people to be late in the beginning, for me that's that's permission to be late from now on. And I'm not that will be. And they will. You know, know Markel told me that the Russians had to go help their mama or something. Call the mamas, mom said they stay with me. Stay with their sister. They're gonna stay with their sister tonight. I mean, I know they're going through it, so with the housing and places to live, it'd just be nice if they could, as captains, regardless, be responsible men and let their coach know so I can let their teammates know so we can make the damn playoffs. But the struggle's real. So we're going to move on with us. West Virginia, and you have no idea what's going to happen there. And, then and they, they still got Blake on the schedule. Yes. And so you got. We do. Yeah. Yes. You got Rocky Mill, and then you got. Uh, they have Gatesburg, and then they have Blake. So I think a lot of the stuff in regards to, you know, I don't think that's relevant yet then. Yeah. how kids are reacting because they're yeah. not out of it. I didn't they're think they would be. 
back by Amy. Yeah. What three and five heading into week nine? Uh, Watkins Mill needs to win out in order to make the playoffs. We bought the bank. Who up? We bought the bank. Who up? We bought the point of the dark. Their home team from right here in Montgomery Village, Maryland, the home of the Lawrence Nation. Please welcome to the field our Wolverines. Ten teams are division. Each division in football, the top four teams make it based on points. Points are assigned based on victories and how well the teams you beat are. That's really what it comes down to. I mean, this game's huge. Like we need to win. It's not. It's not like it's not. It's not like we can lose and other teams can lose too. If we lose, we're automatically out. There are teams that will outpoint us based on their victories. But if we win, it's extremely hard for the next team, which is South Hagerstown to have victories that equal ours, especially because Blake already has seven victories. That's a lot of bonus points, and that'll go to our point total. Do you think it'll be good tomorrow at all? I'm going to try one. Okay. Mild no. I mean, that's fed into the coach's mentality. We're, we're ready. Like, we're, we're trying to get ourselves ready to go. And players, I'm not so sure. <laughs> it's been a battle all season. Like, are we really motivated to win? I'm not really sure that we are. Bunch left, tight. Sally, right. On one, on one, ready? I remember last year Markel had scouts coming around in the offseason, his junior year. Um, and I know no offers on the table yet because they're still feeling out the season. So it's, it's, it's going a little slower than it should. I mean, we have a good opportunity to get some of these guys in the D2, D2, maybe just D3 programs. But that's not where some of them want to be. I gave uh, Coach Brown my list, so but hopefully my film uh, like impresses one of them. And yeah, I hope I pick up an offer before uh, February or January or so. Like I want to go to college, but I have not. Like, growing up, I never really seen me going to college. As a high school, I want to be able to just still have my freedom. It's, Aggressive, they love to blitz the A and B gap. Okay? Then we got outside linebackers. They're, everything from he, here back is their weak link. And we will take advantage of that, all right? Blake's a good team. They got an unorthodox defense. Um, they do things on defense that I haven't seen all year. 
they do uh, they do a good job of it. They have athletes. They're very aggressive. They got a couple safeties. There's nothing we haven't seen. We've already seen size, correct? Yeah. We've done a pretty good job of Jordan. Can you look at me while I'm talking to you? Stand up straight, please. Thank you, sir. You know, it's just with our kids, man, you don't know who's going to come. Are they going to bring their A game? Are they going to bring their B game, their C game, or their D game? I mean, when they bring their A game and, and, and have fun, and, you know, we're one of the better teams in the county. I truly believe that. No fear. I ain't scared. I know y'all ain't scared. Drastic uh, atmosphere up there, just like the master. Ain't no fear. I ain't scared. Y'all scared? No. Y'all ain't scared. My wife, because uh, I'm busting my ass, my ass working three jobs. I'm going back to school because I want to make sure that my wife and kids are set for their future. Coaching wise, you know, the kids obviously, they need me. Um, my coaches need me. My school needs me. My community needs me. So, you know, when you when you keep that in the forefront of your mind, it's like it makes it doable. And now, here come your Blake Bengals. Oh, Fellas, this is from Daquan Williams, Day Day. To the seniors on Walkersville football, and to the team, as y'all know, this is your, possibly your last regular season game. You will play as a high schooler. From someone who has already done just last year, I'm telling you, it's going to hurt after the game if you don't give 100. I want you right now to look at your teammates to your right and left. Go ahead. Tell them I got your back. Because without each other, you are nothing. It's about family. I want y'all to dig deep down inside and think about all the hard work you've been through, all the sprints coach put you through, all the suffering you've done in the weight room for how many years you've been in the program. Think about the struggles and how you come out of it together. Take all that tonight, fellas, and ball out with your brothers.
He should, but watch it hit the Damascus on the leg. Yeah, right one more turn. That's more the head I'm more worried about right now. How about the touch on the chest? Does it help when, they're, um, when you're in the shade? Do the lights bother you? Okay. How's your hands feel? Are you getting any numbers tingling and anything like that going down the arm? Or just the chest Okay. Arms and legs fine, or legs fine, no numbers tingling down the toes, legs, anything like that? Okay. You want to get up? You sure? All right. Let's go to a sit first and then we'll go to the front. Just try to relax. No, just I've prayed about it already. We make the playoffs great. <clears throat> if not, the seniors go out. What a great. Great. Okay. But, coach, whatever you just did in the first half, as far as the energy, the praising, the hustle, the communication, not cussing, not getting into it with the refs, we got to continue that same thing. I'm going to get a message. Like, yo, we won the first half, but the fuck, the game ain't over. Right? You're, you're playing for your you're life. Real. Like, yes. you're fucking, get, like, you're drowning. And you're gasping for the air. Like, this second half! Somebody has put a 150 pound weight on your back and I need you to go out there and fight like your family and your motherfucking future is on the line. Yes, Can you do that for coach? Yes, yes sir. sir. Well, I love y'all. Get with your coach and ball these motherfuckers out like a Bring those fight. That's no right now. Right. Bring those fight, brother. They went one on one. So regardless of who wins, they just want to get one brother for It doesn't matter. Um, right now, stop the north. Well, stop the one. Wow. It's a, it's a seven to six. So it's four to six dash this, four to six dash one. Yeah. And then uh, plus four is down. Four to six. Yeah. So even if you stop win, you should be good. You can't, I can't control that. You can't control that. Yeah. The referees, though, they make the game. They want to see, and this is, I, I good game. they want to see good games. <laughs> but they can't continue to do it. So no matter what they do, we're just gonna keep doing us. Yeah. All right. Keep controlling what we can control. We're doing a great job. Keep leading. Okay. Hey, Third, third, we're gonna go down the score, okay? Get the lead back. All right, whether you go fast or slow, just do your job. Let's make a play, big boy. All right, now let's make a play. Right, I'm gonna make a play. Right. Let's make a play.
defense. I need you to ball out. I need you to ball out. Let's go. Six at the I, all I can envision is us kicking a field goal, then blocking it, picking the bitch, and running back for a touchdown. What I'm about to do is I'm about to throw the motherfucker for a touchdown. If they get the ball, they get the ball right here with 29 seconds. Let's go at school, boys. Let's go, bro.
senior, Markel Grant.